Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary. What do we have here? It's an EG Idra, and his opponent will be Liquid Huck. So Huck in this bottom left-hand corner of Shakura's Plateau, Idra spawning in the top right-hand corner as the Red Zerg. This is actually the Korean uh, ladder, so these two players meeting up here. Idra has been streaming his ladder game, so I encourage you to check those out if you have not yet. Uh, though you are not allowed to use the words rage or rage quit in the chat or you will be banned. Huck uh, over in Korea or playing on the Korean ladder uh, because he did try out for season 3 of the GSL. He did not qualify and soon after that he went over to DreamHack and played in that tournament as well. But he really wanted to ladder on the Korean server and practice some of the builds against just a different style of play. Um, the Koreans play much different than the North American server. A lot more all-ins at the start of the games. They bring a lot of probes, uh, SCVs, drones when they attack. And Huck, very good uh, as a macro player and likes to get into those big long games. Very good mechanics, uh, very good macro, and good uh, you know, multitasking so he's able to win those games. But I feel like playing on the Korean server is going to give him a lot of good experience in the shorter games and in more tactics. Uh, and early game strategies. So we see Huck is scouting and again on Shakura's Plateau the players can never spawn on the same side of the map left to right. So Idra spawning on the right hand side here means the Huck will be on one of the left starting positions either the top or the bottom. So this map uh, added, a lap, added to the uh, map pool to replace Kulas Ravine and it's gotten some mixed reviews, a lot of interesting features to the map in that there's backdoor rocks going to all the, uh, the mains, so it opens up multiple paths for attack, especially if both players spawn on the bottom or top. We see cross positions here, so Idra very interesting going spawning pool first, as these cross positions, he's not yet scouted yet, uh, these cross positions would make it much easier for him to get a hatch up first, but instead going for the spawning pool, might want to get up some early speedlings as he does have a gas going as well. He does have 100 gas right now, so we'll see if he cuts gas production and gets that uh, that speed. He is not yet, so may in fact be going for roaches or maybe a fast lair. So we see Huck throwing down that manor pylon. It's going to prevent the two, two pylons now, going to be preventing the expansion of Idra. Now a third pylon as he did cancel the first one there. So Idra going to be working on these pylons with his, his few zerglings here, sending one zergling to chase down that probe, make sure it doesn't cause any more trouble. Huck does, does have up his cybernetics core and his gateway, and has not produced any units right now. One zealot coming out, and it looks like Idra was able to take down those pylons, perhaps cancelled by Huck, and is throwing up this hatchery. So going pool first, and now starting speed, really going to give him early map control on this map, uh, with those speedlings, it's such a long distance between the two bases. Those speedlings are going to be able to see any push that's coming uh, as he does position one zergling right outside the base and he may be taking towers with other zerglings. We do see a drone still in the base of Huck, so Huck's entire build order going to be scouted by Idra. He does see the three gates. Oftentimes we'll see this three gate uh, into a fast expand in this PBZ matchup. The two gas are going to allow Huck to get out a number of sentries as well for force fields. And now we see a Stargate coming up for Huck. So this is something else we've not really seen from Huck in the past, but on the Korean server in this PvZ matchup, we often see uh, Stargate play, something Kiwi Kaki has been using as well, getting uh, early Phoenix and Void Rays especially. With the force fields from the sentries, those Void Rays able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most of the ground units of the Zerg player. See Idrid now getting a good saturation on his natural. If we check out the income tab, it is 24 harvesters to 26. So Huck taking the advantage with the early Chrono boost off that Nexus. Does not yet have his expansion down. Has one sentry and he does have enough minerals saved up for that expansion. 500 minerals. So he needs to chase away these zerglings, get that up as quickly as possible. Looks like that expansion may now be coming down. And he's working on his first Void Ray from that Stargate. So again, something I've never really seen Huck do is go for this uh, Stargate play. Typically he likes to go either Templar or in his early game uh, over the summer, mostly preferred to go Colossi. 
So perhaps his time in Korea has allowed him to uh, to gain some some new strategies here and trying some new things on this Korean ladder against a, an old foe in Idra. Idra and Huck meeting in MLG DC, where Idra was able to beat him two games to none in a great uh, Steps of War game featuring Hydralis, great creep spread, and forward offensive uh, spine crawlers. Idra won that handily, so I'm sure Huck really wants to uh, stick it to his opponent here. They are quite mannered to each other on the Korean server. I've seen a lot of uh, chat back and forth between the two. Huck trolling Idra a little bit. As Huck getting out that first Void Ray and just sitting in the back, he does not want any sort of Overlord suiciding in to see his Stargate tech. I believe Idra has not seen this, as he just thinks that it is the three gates. He knows about this fast expand. But that expand came a little bit late for the typical timing on the 3 gate uh, fast expand. So Idra should be expecting something here. Looks like he is going for roaches. If we check out the army tab, 1200 to 200. So Idra has great map control here with these zerglings and the, uh, the overlord at the back door of Huck. So Huck's not going to be able to get out with anything. Now pushing out these void rays. And Idra has so very few arm or so very few units at this point. Just 200 army, and he's been able to drone up quite hard. 50 harvesters now to the 31 of Huck. But he's not gonna have too much to compete with these void rays. Void ray is gonna be trying to charge up on that extractor. Again, they're right over the cliff here. So they're charged up, gonna try to focus down the queen. Not enough for a transfuse on either queen, so one queen at least will go down. Trying to focus down one of these void rays. Idra just has the one queen on the field right now, backing up with that low void ray. And the second queen is going to go down, but not before it's able to take down the one void ray. Huck trying to focus down uh, drones at this point. And now the drones being retreated into the base, into the main of Hydra. And now working on uh, one more queen and five hydralists. So the queen popping out with a hydra buddy. And they are going to be able to chase away these void rays. Good, uh, good creep spread by Idra. Going to make it so these hydralists are able to uh, move quickly and take down uh, perhaps this one void ray quite low at this point. The void rays are going to scout that a third hatchery has been thrown up by Idra. So Idra just keep working on his economy at this point. Threw up that uh, Hydralis Den and the Evolution Chamber in response to seeing those Void Rays push out. He did have the Overlord with the speed upgrade suiciding into the base of Huck for scouting information. So good reaction by Idra. Was able to defend that push with minimal units. Just a few Hydralis. He did lose his two Queens. That is going to hurt him in the macro uh, game for just a moment here. And uh, he may actually lose this Hydra or this Hatchery if the Hydras are not able to move in here. Looks like Huck moving across the field with a number of Zealots getting good force fields on the uh, Hydralis, but those range Hydralis going to do very good damage against the Zealots. And Idric able to clean that up before the hatchery goes down. So you're going to have quite the advantage, 48 Harvesters compared to the 34. Huck not very good saturation on his natural quite yet, does have 4 gas up and running. And now getting out a few Phoenix, perhaps to start harassing some of the overlords of Idra. Idra just has great vision all over the map. Good map control, suiciding overlords in here, getting good scouting information. So he's going to try to see what sort of tech path Huck is going to be going for. It looks like Huck getting down two robotics facilities at this point. And also one more gate and working on that plus one level, uh, or plus one melee weapon upgrade. Now we see Idra moving across the field, doing a great job spreading creep with these overlords. He's got quite the highway about to develop in the center of the map. Does have burrow research, so any of these units could burrow. I do not believe that the Phoenix just leaving Huck's base did see these units. So now Idra pushing up into the uh, natural of Huck. 2700 compared to the 1300 in the army tab. Good force fields there are going to keep these hydralists at bay. And these roaches just need to retreat back here. He wants to attack all together. See Stalkers on the high ground, able to take down those Hydralis. The Overlord trying to move into position to get sight on those Stalkers. But quite low on HP is that Overlord, just 9 HP. Hydralis not able to do much at this point. Just maybe trying to bait a few more force fields. And Idra just being a little bit cautious here. Now pulling back. Does have more Overlords pushing out at this point. We do see the Phoenix flying all across the field for Huck. It does have one kill, so able to take down an Overlord. Now trying to take down the Creep Highway of Idra. And Huck at this point uh, possibly needs to start ramping up his unit production. It looks like he's warping in a number of Zealots. 
and maybe waiting for that plus one attack as well as a uh, Colossus to come out. He does have a robotic spec. Colossus quite good against Hydras. One thing that the early Stargate does is it almost forces your opponent to go Hydra tech. Uh, and then with the Hydras, you also make a number of roaches as well. They share upgrades. So once you do get the, your opponent on Hydra tech, you can do a quick swap over to the uh, Colossus, which just tear apart those Hydralists, only 80 HP. So now we see the observers coming out, dual observers from Huck. He wants to see what sort of tech path is uh, opponent is going on wants to make sure that he's keeping uh, the Zerg economy in check. Three bases is okay at this point. The Zerg wants to be one base ahead of his opponent at all times, if not more. We see the infestation pit coming, so Idra perhaps going for uh, tier three or preparing for it. Another suiciding overlord, so that's a number of suiciding scouting overlords. Idra's gotten a lot of information. He does see these robotics facilities. Uh, the placement of the robotics bay, I do not believe that Idra has seen it yet. He has not. And I did hear a changeling go off, so that is going to be somewhere. Try to find it. But I imagine Idra going to try to get into the uh, the base of Huck and see that robotics bay. See extended thermal lance as well as a few colossi coming out for Huck. Does already have two colossi out on the field trying to hide him in the middle of the base. Idra possibly saw those when he, he did not push in with that overlord. Idra about to complete that hive, about halfway done, and producing a number of corruptors, so he will be going for the uh, the Broodlord tech. And Broodlords are going to be a great response to those colossi. If we check out the army tab, Idra with a supreme command at this point, 5,300 compared to the 3,700, almost maxed out at food, 192 of 200 compared to the 136 of Huck. Idra could perhaps even keep.